Hey everyone, welcome to React course. In this lecture, we are going to learn remaining two methods which we had left in the previous lecture. These two events are component will update and component did update. As well as we are going to understand unmount event also. Here we have a timer component. In this component, I will just create two methods. So I will first create component will update method. So here I will just create component will update method. Specify parenthesis and the body of this component. And here I will say console.log and say call before the render method, right? This method return true. This method is only used to do the preparation for the upcoming render similar to the component will mount or constructor. There can be some use case when there needs some calculation or preparation before rendering some items. This is the place to do so. So this method has two arguments which is new props. So I will just say here new props and new state. So this property takes new properties and new state. So if you just execute this, I already started my development server. So here you will see a message timer constructor is called. And if I just click on this click me button, then this method will execute, right? Call before the render method, right? And if I just print the parameters here, so I will just say console.log new props comma here and say new props copy the statement paste it here and just say new state and just change this variable to new state and when I click on this button you will get your new properties and the state right we did not specify any property that is why this will return nothing that is why this object is blank but we have a state counter which has one value and a message click so you will get the new value right so when you click on it you will get two the updated state value so this method will execute before the render method right so if you wanted to access anything or if you wanted to perform any operation then you can do that in this method right just after that we have component did update method so in this method i will just say console.log and just use this message right here and just say here call after the render method save the changes and execute it when i click on it you will get call after the render right so when your component is a vendor on the ui you will get this message so this method will execute after your component is rendered right this method is executed when the new update component has been updated in the dom when component did update is called two arguments are passed previous properties and previous state this is the inverse of component will update the past value are what the values were and this dot properties and this dot state are the current values right so i will just specify two arguments so i will just say here pre props and pre state and just wanted to print these values so i will just say console.log and say here pre props and just print this parameter so i will just say pre props copy the statement paste it here and say here state and pre state save the changes and execute it when i click on this button you will get previous property value right so here you will get zero 
you did not specify any property so you will get blank object here but if you specify anything then you will get the previous value so here the counter value is zero because the previous value of the counter state is zero when i click on it again you will get one now the current value is two but using this method you can get the previous value right so here we have one so this method is execute after the render method just after that here we have another method which is component will unmount and here i will just say console.log component will unmount right let me give you a short introduction of this method this method is called after the component is unmounted from the dom we are unmounting our component in main.js for example we would want to unregister any global or system or library events or third party ui library elements etc we will understand how this method works in the future lectures but just for now keep in mind component will update method is called before the render method and component did update method will call just after the render method we will understand this method in the future lectures. That's it. I hope you understand component lifecycle events. If you have any question, you can ask me in the comment. Answering the question specified in the comment will definitely help you to improve your knowledge. That is all for now. We will see you in the next lecture.